spark plug, dude. Wait. Broke it. Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Nice. Okay, let's take that. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. And Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Yeah. No more. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. to ask some questions from the zombies. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Okay, now here's Johnny. Stop, just stop. I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh, God. She's bitten. I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you. I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Come with us. And we'll find you some help. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're... they're... 
Titanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! No. This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be mine. Miss. Back up! Please! No, no, oh no. Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! some close calls but Glenn is fine and well yeah we're okay I've got a few canes of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car good to hear it and things back here quiet our friend is still in and out over there he won't survive any more stress the next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy Ask Glenn maybe we have to Console her, uh, him about what happened. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Back to the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess but that's not me. I'm not giving up, not for anything. Good man, good. I guess she really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? Would you have given it to her? No way. Then you Damn. know why. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. What's your story, Glenn? I deliver pizzas around here. I brought a couple to the Everts a few times. Sorry, I mean, the folks that own this place, just really good people. It sucks seeing this place like this. Isn't that the truth? Try to get some rest. Huh. <laughs> yeah, right. That's Carly. Can I do anything for you, Carly? I'm fine, thanks. I'm duck. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. I can tell that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Ahead. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. 
That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? They died? They're most of who you see wandering around out there. I don't mind it. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Socks and sandals. Universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Oh, well, hold on. We're going to need. I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Hmm. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. Masturbating. I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. And the drugstore's safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and it locks up well. I can't reach that brick. Oh. Awesome. Now to distract those things carefully. Bender gate. A feeling that this brick can be used to. We go. Now's the time. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Finish you. 